is explain the vibration characteristics, the physical parameter, the measurement units, and the time and frequency domains. Vibration is the oscillating motion on the object caused by an applied force. For example, a uh, force of looking or bowing a musical instrument is trying to cause it to be vibrated, like the violin. In the machine, there are two references. There are the machine that have relative motion between the shaft and the machine case and the, the shaft that don't have relative motion between the shaft and the machine case. With rolling element bearings, there are no relative motion. With fluid film bearings, there are relative motion. To measure vibration, uh, the transducer have a direction or sensitive uh, axis for measuring vibration. In the left, there are one vertical transducer, and in the right, there are two transducers located at 45 degrees from the vertical direction, separate 90 degrees apart between them to measure no one direction to measure the total vibration in the plane. Okay, any transducer convert one kind of energy in energy into another different kind. The mechanical motion, the vibration, is converted into electrical signal using different uh, vibration transducer. The mechanical movement could be moved in uh, measures in displacement, velocity, and acceleration. In this case, the sexity axis convert the mechanical vibration into a signal, electrical signal that is proportional to the uh, vibration. One of the characteristics of the vibration is the period period is the time of uh, for one cycle. In this case we have one second. In one second there are five full cycles like this one, two, three, four and five. The period is one second divided five cycle or 0.2 seconds per cycle. The frequency is the inverse of the period, is the number of cycles per unit of time. In this case, in this case we had one second with five full uh, uh, vibration signals, and this means the frequency is five cycles in one second is five hertz. The different units from the frequency is frequency expressed in hertz or cycles per second, CPN in cycles per minute, or vibration expressed in orders. Order is the, uh, the uh, relative with the rotation speed. 1x means the vibration at running speed. The, there are one question, find the 1x vibration frequency in hertz is the divided the RPM by 60. If your machine is running at 3000 RPM, 3000 RPM divided by 60 is 50 hertz. The amplitude, there are three different measurements of amplitude, peak to peak, peak and RMS. Peak is the measuring from zero to the maximum positive or mm, maximum negative of the signal. Peak to peak is, is from the maximum positive to the maximum negative. And the RMS. The RMS is a special type of average that takes the square root of the average of the signal. All, all the instantaneous values have the first being squared. For a perfect sine wave, RNS is 0.707, only in this case, 
perfect sinusoidal. The form. The form is a, is a, is the shape of the of the vibration. In the top there are a pure sinusoidal. In the bottom is a complex signal with more than one component. Now with the pendulum we can correlate the physical parameter, acceleration, displacement, and velocity. When the pendulum is displaced from the center or the equilibrium position, then move. Okay, where well, the displacement is in the maximum, the velocity is zero and the acceleration is the maximum but in the opposite direction. In this uh, example, is represented the three. Uh, measurement of the uh, machine case one for displacement the second is velocity and the third is acceleration. reviewing the top and the bottom you can observe that the is our opposite sine wave that means when the displacement is in the maximum positive the acceleration is in the maximum negative and the velocity is displaced 90 degrees apart between displacement and acceleration. Okay. Now, displacement is the change of the distance of position of an object related to a reference. And for uh, displacement, we use in the eddy current trans uh, transducer or proximity proof is the, the typical application is measuring rotor position within the clearance of free frame bearings is the only sensor capable to measure zero hertz zero hertz is a static or position the units are microns peak to peak or thousand an inch or mil the velocity is the time or rate of the chain for the displacement of an object there are two different sensors, mobile coil sensor or piezoelectric or crystal sensor. Typical uh, application is vibration of machine casing or other structural response. The useful frequency is 10 to 5,000 Hertz. For the mobile coil, the maximum frequency is 1,000 Hertz. The measurement is millimeters per second or inches per second peak or the inches per second is also referred to IPS. Acceleration. The acceleration is the time or rate of the change of an object, object velocity. This is special designed for high frequency. One example of high frequency is measuring gear mesh or rolling element bearing the fed in the machine. It's capable to measure uh, high frequency up to 20 kilohertz and the units and meter per square second or g's the inches per square second is not is not common is preferred the g's or standard gravity measurement the parameters relationship relationship between a velocity and displacement and acceleration are related with the frequency. Velocity is 2 pi frequency times displacement. Deceleration is 2 pi f all the square times displacement. And the acceleration is 2 pi frequency times velocity. This is, this is a very useful uh, question to calculate one parameter into another. One example is uh, you had a measurement of 5 meters per square second at 100 Hz. Find the uh, equivalent in peak velocity in millimeters per second. The acceleration is 2 pi f for times velocity. 
Now the velocity is acceleration divided 2 pi f. The velocity is 5 meter per, per second divided 2 pi for 100 hertz or 0 0.00796 meter per second or 7.96 millimeter per second. Another example is measure the peak acceleration of is 5.5 hertz at 100 hertz. Find the equivalent peak velocity in inches per second. Remember, acceleration is 2 pi fb. Now b is acceleration divided 2 pi f and using this uh, conversion the velocity is 0 0.0256 feet per second or 0 0.31 inches per second uh, we had an special excel spreadsheet to do this calculation to facilitate the field uh, calculation the time domain is called the waveform. Is how is vibrating the machine. The machine. In this, in the top, is using the analogic uh, oscilloscope. In the bottom, using a digitized display in the same vibration waveform. You can observe that the. Uh, oh, all the signals are the same. That means the um, digitalization process is very accurate in this case. One of the uh, process signal is using the FFT or fast frequency um, fast Fourier tran transform. This convert the fast Fourier transform convert the time domain into frequency domain and is called a spectrum. You have a complex vibration is using the FFT is, is converted into in this case two components. One component at 50 Hz and the second at 250 Hz. Now you have the two complex uh, one complex signal with two dif two different uh, waveforms, one of 50 Hz and, and another at 250 is converted in FFT in this 50 Hz at this amplitude and the 250 at this amplitude. This shows uh, these two signals are the result for the complex waveform. In this example you had a pump and the pump have five veins one, two, three, four, five. That means this uh, vibration is related with the band pace. 